Do you think you're good enough to get a goal? Yes, definitely. I am a really good skier and I know that I can definitely go and get it. Lucy Best, she was with me before in South Korea, would be about 10 or 11 years ago now. Keelan was the youngest we've ever taken away, Keelan McConville, and he was with me in Austria, and he's going again, obviously, and Sean McCartan, he was with us again in Austria. But we have somebody that has never been before, which is Ben McCarroll, and it's a big step for him, and I think, I don't know whether they know they're going to port it down or whether they're actually going to Poland. <laughs> Do you feel that you're good enough to get a medal here? Well, you know, I'm not going to speak out loud, but I, I do hope so, you know. I don't want to jinx myself, but, uh, you know, we're all hoping to get home. I'm especially hoping to get home with a medal. Mary, you went down the slopes there, not quite from the top now, but you got a wee bit of speed going and a wee bit of help from Keelan. Yes, a fantastic coach here tonight. I haven't done this in probably 25 years and Keelan told me at the start of it, I don't think you're ready for the top of the hill yet, so maybe another couple of hours if you're still here we might make it, but he's a great coach and it's lovely just to be here uh, and uh, get a wee bit of coaching from him. He's so enjoying his skiing and it's lovely to see it. Very exciting to go to Poland and I'm just really glad that it got picked and I think it's just going to be amazing if we get a medal or a medal is going to be even incredible. I think it's fantastic. I mean, I genuinely think, think it's fantastic. Um, uh, these people, uh, these, these young people, g girls and boys who have worked incredibly hard uh, to hone their skills and, and now they have an opportunity to go out and represent Ireland in uh, Poland in the, in the European Championships. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I think what it does, it shows that no matter uh, who you are, no matter what disability you may have, uh, that you can strive to do uh, great things. And I think they're an inspiration to, to young people. Is this about going to Poland and winning or is it about taking part? Which is more important? It's about taking part. The, the, the wee saying is, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me take part and feel good. Everybody's a winner. And they need to learn to lose as well as win. That's very, very important in all sport. And they can take that on board. You can go fast or you can go slow, but I'm just natural because I'm just brilliant at it and it's one of my favourite sports. And who do you do it for? Say you get to the bottom and say you've won and you've got a gold medal, is it for you? Is it for your family? Is it for everyone here at the club? What? Um, for me, I'm going to do it for myself and do it for my family because they're the best family ever, but mostly I'm doing it for the club and I'm also doing it for me as well. Backup has been amazing for me, uh, personally in my life. Backup's never been, really been a problem for me. I have my dad, my mum, my coaches, my boss, other people. There's a lot of people. That I, I'm not going to name them list because there's so many. But, you know, the backup for me, personally, has been amazing. So I really do thank them all for that. And you want to do it for them. And you've got a sponsor on board as well? Yes, I do, Hannon Transport. So once again, I'd like to thank them for that and all they're doing for me abroad. Bring back a medal for Aha Gallon. Bring back him at a fucking gallon, of course. Always fucking gallon. Jeez, win. Who would be your hero, your role model in skiing or just in life, do you think? Well, from the skiing part, I would pick Jill Swoon because she's a really brilliant ski coach and she always taught me, taught me and she's given me lots of skills. But my, my other model would just be my family because they're really supportive family. You love this, don't you? Yes, it's my favourite hobby. <laughs> Come on, Mayor, break a leg. I probably will walk over this bit of it. How many people tonight have shouted to you, break a leg? Uh, most of them, especially my political opponents, who are, would absolutely be delighted that I would break a leg here tonight. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen yet, but uh, hopefully you'll turn the camera off soon and then we'll try it again, <laughs> maybe a bit higher. <laughs> Thank you.